This is episode three of Biodegradable Spoons. This is an experiment to find out whether or not these spoons actually biodegrade. We were given them as an ecological, uh, ex an ecological advantage at our last Christmas party. Uh, shortly after that Christmas party, I took some of the biodegradable utensils and put them in a uh, closed water container. Uh, nothing in here except real water. Uh, one thing I've noticed about the water is that it seems to be off-gassing something, and I'll actually open it up and we'll see if you can't hear the, the noise of the off-gassing. You can also, if you look closely in here, you can see that the water is no longer clear, and, and if I can anyway see uh, particulate matter floating in there which says that something is breaking down. So here we go, we'll open it up and see whether or not you can actually hear it off gas. So here we go. Uh, so I heard that, I, I don't know if it came out on the video. In addition, I've noticed that there seems to be a sulfur smell coming out from in this. Uh, so somehow there must be some kind of sulfur material in these in these spoons. Uh, this is actually a fork that I guess I broke a little bit to actually get in there. Uh, if you look at the difference, there's there's a difference in color. This is a little yellow. This appears to be getting a blackish color, and it also to the feel is a little bit slippery. Uh, one thing I've done in the past is to try to compare the uh, the response to bending and uh, I think you can see that that the uh, given the same kind of force maybe I can do this with one hand given the same kind of force that certainly the, uh, the one that's been in water seems to uh, bend much more easily so there we have an original and one that's been in water and, and it's been in water for about nine months at this point uh, besides the water experiment, I also put a spoon in some ginger ale. This was done January 6th. It's now uh, around September uh, 6th or so, so that's eight months that it's actually been in here. Uh, doesn't look much like ginger ale anymore, actually. It's taken on a very, very brown hue. Uh, and I don't know if you can see it there. In this, there appears to be some particulate matter, too. Uh, let me open this one up. And uh, no uh, no sulfur smell coming out of this one. Just kind of a, maybe a little bit of, uh, there's been a little bit of fermentation in there. So there's a little bit of an alcohol smell. Uh, again, uh, I think you can see that the, the color is very different. Some of that might be because the ginger ale isn't actually clear. Uh, I don't seem to be able to rub any of it off. Uh, it doesn't have any particularly funny smell and maybe we can see what the, uh, you can see there that the, the bending is very different. So obviously at least sitting in, in liquid seems to have affected these uh, pretty badly. Uh, here's the water versus the ginger ale and actually it's been in the ginger ale a little bit less than it's been in the water and it actually looks like the ginger ale spoon has degraded a little bit more in terms of uh, its bending strength here so um, something certainly seems to be happening uh, in addition um, I put around mid-January I put some, one of these into some a uh, bioengineered uh, drain cleaner. This has some kind of little bug in it. To, it's supposed to eat the gunk in your drains. Um, hope was that if it ate gunk in your drains, maybe it would eat the uh, the starch they make these spoons out of. Uh, so this one has kind of a gray color. There's some matter there. Oh, and it's very slippery in in the middle of the spoon there. Uh, Ooh, so this one smells very much like ammonia. Uh, 
and not like sulfur at all, so I guess I'm a little bit confused about what might be happening here. Although the drain cleaner is certainly something different than, than just plain old water. Uh, again, this is a uh, bio and eco-friendly drain cleaner, and I think it's just uh, biological agents. I don't think it's a chemical agent. Uh, color, comparing it against the, uh, the ginger ale, it's a little bit lighter in color. The strength, uh, well, the ginger ale one seems to be a little bit more pliable and flexible than the one in the drain cleaner. Uh, comparing the drain cleaner to the water, uh, the drain cleaner seems to win out against the water. Uh, so this is, I want to make sure I put them back in the, same, in the right place. And then finally I put some in a little bit of, uh, of my compost heat. Now this isn't really ideal. It's, uh, you know, it certainly doesn't generate the heat that the compost heat will. Uh, uh, this is actually kind of a little bit disgusting. Uh, it's uh, certainly taken on the color of the uh, compost heap. Uh, and uh, oh, that seems to be actually very, very, very flexible. Uh, so comparing that to the uh, biodegradable drain fluid, actually, the compost heap seems to win that battle. Uh, comparing it to the ginger ale, uh, I'm not sure. Those seem to be pretty equal. So compost and ginger ale seem to be about the same. And comparing it to the water, uh, it's very obvious that the compost heap seems to win that battle. Uh, so it, there does seem to be something happening. Uh, it's a little bit slow. I would have expected uh, these things to happen a little bit quicker than biodegrading in greater than nine months. Uh, we'll be back again in about three months and, and have another look and see what's happened around the December time frame.